Howdy. It's we're not Sandy anymore. I guess you can't be Sandy here. Anyway, Dave wants to tell you that if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel because new SpongeBob videos all the time. What what else are we playing? Spider Man. We're playing Spider Man. We got Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet and Clank, up. Clank we got still Crash going Bandicoot. Up. No, we don't. Oh, old, well, finish. We played Crash Bandicoot. They're funny. I think you know you know we we'll probably do the Crash Bandicoot one two three at some point. Because yeah, I've never played them, and I'd like to play them. And the first, and then the fourth one got I think announced. We talked recently. about it. I played. Let's I mean, go to this. We're going to Goo Lagoon. A, as a kid, I played the first. We have I played all of them, but I actually beat the third one. Third one's really good. And what's funny is that the fourth one, I'm a. It's weird because there's been so much time. It's literally been 20 years. I think since Crash Bandicoot Warped came out it was like 99 around Warped there. Warped is the third one. Yeah, it was a third one. There was another one after they that. Went Cra they went to crack. They had CTR. I think maybe after that, then they had Crash Bash. They had something on like, PS2 that was like they did. Who's, but the, it bad, did, who's the bad guy? It was I like a launch it, game. I, I kind of remember actually with that because people like made fun of that. They made fun of it at the yeah, end of the terrible. trailer where they were like, "Oh, uh, I don't think how many games have you been in?" And it was like three, and we're like, "Oh, three? I figured there'd be more." With who? The developer? At the, no, at the end of uh, the Crash Four trailer. What is this, please? They they did say that. That's funny because I don't think Naughty Dog made the one for PS2. I don't. think Yeah, they, I don't. I'm not sure didn't. they did. I, I think Activision think, had it. At yeah, that it was point. terrible. I remember it. Okay, remember you the know what? Let's screens. read the tips because the tips actually help us. You can bubble use bash. the bubble bash to move things. Bubble body. Oh, that dude. That is. He said that so weird. Bubble body. Oh, that was cool. How'd you do that? Just the triangle jump. Okay. Oh, that's what these are. These little X's on the ground are like do the triangle jump. And you'll hit something above you. And do the sponge punch. <laughs> hit the tr hit triangle and to do the sponge. He's doing the sponge. Look at do the me. sponge sponge. He do needs a little more. Look at this guy just casually floating in, ready to murder. This is an assassination waiting to happen. This guy's head looks like a toilet, by the way. What is going on? I thought he was calling in a missile strike. Like, that doesn't make sense underwater. No. There's a cloud. There's gone. a legitimate cloud. <laughs> Cumulo Nimbus, is that the thundercloud? Uh, I don't know. We learned about that in fourth grade. Do you remember? Yeah. I, that's like what I, I specifically remember that being when... You know what else happened in that class, in that science class? Fourth grade science class. I think I know what you're going to say, but keep going. I don't know if you are. Oh, we were in the same class, so you might remember. It, was, it got a little weird. Keep going. It got a little weird? Yeah. What? No, I, okay. Say I was going to say... say. In, in that class, like while we were in science class and we moved around because our middle school, the classes like move you around, like you go from classroom to classroom. So they prepared us in fourth grade. So in the science room, somebody, I, I don't remember who it was. It was very not cool. They like threw gum at me and the gum got stuck in my hair. So I had this <laughs> gum like deep in deep in my hair. Really? And they were like, yeah, they're like, go down to the nurse and they'll like cut it out. They cut it out? That's the most ghetto I've ever heard. How else are you gonna get gum out of my hair? I don't know, like buzz your hair? So they just Why would he buzz my hair? Did they just cut a big chunk out? No, it didn't look weird. They just like cut the gum oh, okay. out. Okay. Like, I was thinking like in no, like they're your not gonna scalp. Like, no, no, I thought yeah, like yeah, the gum no, was like I didn't have a hole on the back of my head where my hair used to be. <laughs> oh, okay, it was just on the tip. All right, but that was. That, I'm assuming that's not a uh, things got weird that you were referring to. No, so <laughs> what happened in science class, fourth grade? We that I don't dissected remember? an owl, All the owl pellet, pellets, I which was the most disgusting thing. It was. Kill this robot. Can we talk about what this was? It was a pellet from an owl. It was like their poop, right? But but it wasn't though. Because it, was. it, like, Connect wouldn't it have been like? I guess dry really like, Do you know what I mean? It was a little dry. I don't know how. I, I remember it almost moved. as like, I don't know, dude. You know what they did? And I'm not positive. I mean, they probably did got they regurgitate it. Oh, I don't know about that. I could have swore they were like literal, like a chunk of owl poop. But why but would they like have us hat. handle that though? Just to like see to like learn and understand. I guess I like guess, how but the, that was the like digestive that's like, system. That, I understand that, but it's like. Hazardous. I can't, I can't swim, SpongeBob says, by the way. It wasn't hazardous. They're not going to get it. was poop, man. They got like diseases and stuff. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, but it wasn't probably fresh poop. I don't know what fresh owl poop looks like. Dave's about to look it up. Maybe. No. I'll look it, it was, up. I think it was regurgitated. I just did something. What did this do? 
Al pellet dissection is one of the first things that comes up. Yeah. It, well, I mean, if it actually was owl poop, then they probably had to like order them bulk from a lab or something. And the lab probably. Um, oh, I forgot. I can't swim. I just jump on this guy. I can't. Okay, I, I the was lab probably preserved them and made them owls safe. are not only the are not only the birds that they worded this weird. Basically saying that it was a thrown up pellet. That's what it is. It was a what? It, they essentially digest what they what eat and throw it back up. Ooh, really? So they don't poop. They still might. Oh, that. but the pellet, more specifically, was like vomit? Hold on. <laughs> I'm stuck in the umbrella, yeah, dude. Yeah, so the pellet... I, I can't move. Dude, anyone watching this is going to be like... I can't move. I can, there we go. Why are you guys oh, talking you about owl pellets? But it's Weird. formed from the hair, bones, or feathers that are left in oh. the gizzard. Wait, hang on. Look at this lady. It's, oh my god, she just winked. This lady is sassy as f Whoa. That is one sexy fish. Look at SpongeBob creeping. He's like, I'm not doing anything. Coming for that. She's like, oh my... Dude, this is really weird. <laughs> she, she winks at you after you slap her. Sexy. By the way, I don't know what I'm doing here because these... There's like two buttons that aren't working. That's not going to get me anywhere. I'm going to just kill this robot. This big, big robot. <laughs> Legitimately confused. Dave's still looking up owl pellet facts. It just looks like it's a reg regurgitation. I guess. I still I remember even. It's back, very it's very like dry and back, twiggy. Yeah, exactly. But I remember even back then I was like, oh, that's kind of gross. It was kind of gross. I don't remember ever weird. doing anything like that again. We dissected literal frogs in the seventh grade, though. Remember that? Very true. Same teacher. What too. was uh? Yes. Because our teacher from the what fourth grade freak. moved up into seventh grade. She was, a f she was nice, though. She what was a little mean? bit of a freak with that stuff, though. <laughs> She's like, hey, this is Because the curriculum was like dissect stuff. Yeah, man. When and the she was just in the one in charge Bro, of it. Oh, hang on. When oh, the wait, we need Patrick. Are you dissecting animals at 29? No, but that's not the point. The point is to learn about it when you're a kid. I get it, but... I don't, I don't really. I don't really remember anything. Gonna, I don't want to get into a tangent right now. How much I actually hate the uh, public school curriculum. Oh, that's I fine. Hate I, it oh, so I do. Much. Oh, I do too. Everybody does. It's terrible, and it needs to. <laughs> yeah, then we're we're entering political. Uh, huh? It's not even. That it's not even. That. It's, it's like, like every like, single kid everywhere what? needs an education. Exactly. Hey, Dave. You know. Listen to. I gotta stop cursing. But you, how many times are you gonna dissect an owl pellet? How many times are you gonna apply for a, a, a mortgage or apply for any type of loan? That or, kind of stuff needs to be card. in I mean, school. Yeah, here I am in high dissecting school? owl pellets. Big help. Like when you're 17, 18, they should definitely start teaching you about Dude, that stuff. It was like I don't. Yeah, mortgages. How to just make payments with credit cards. Insurance. Like, any, like anything. Yeah, insurance. Stuff. How to sell your friends now. All how to the, deposit all a check mobily with your with your phone app with the that TD app. Need to be done. They do. They should though. The like, important stuff, that like just like the normal adult stuff, should absolutely be taught when you're like 17, 18. Because that's right when you're coming into it. How to apply for a credit card? Yeah. Well, why is a credit score significant? Yep. These are all. Yeah, I don't. This is all stuff you just did not learn. I know. The random idea. eleven year old that clicks this video is just going to be like, oh, no. "What's I up? wanted to watch SpongeBob. This is things are getting <laughs> just, way right. too serious. Okay, well, back to this. We're talking about the public school system. Why it's important to dissect owls? Would Come be cool, back, kid. I'm trying to save your. Would be cool if there was like a twelve year old person that was just like, "Yeah, it's horrible." Still, you guys are right. I have, I have no idea anything. <laughs> Can you guys, you guys are be our about. principal? Kid, oh, kid, got him. Two out of five kids saved. This is perfect. We're at Dave and Carl of Intro Mission. are trying to save your kids. We're trying to give them the education that they need. I'd love to. And here we are saving kids in this game because they're attached to balloons and they're flying away. Come on, kid. Uh oh, where the f am I going? This thing's sinking. All right, get out of here, ham. Okay. I think these things fall down when you land on them, so I gotta be quick. No, no, the kid is right on it! Oh. Okay, we'll be back for you. Smack. 
Smack mud. Uh, no. Smack my what up? My up. You ever listened to Prodigy? I'm kind of familiar with the song. Back in like 2000. Okay, this kid is just the, the worst. Rapper? No, it was, it was like a weird band, I think. Here we go. Got ya. You little. Listen, kids, stay in school, dissect animals. Don't fly away on balloons. Dude, Balloon Boy, do you remember that? That that was a wild time. That was a wild afternoon. What was it? Balloon Boy? Do you remember this? Wait a minute. <laughs> they, they've Is referenced this gonna get it. dark? No, they've referenced it in the office and it's absolutely true. It's one of the things where like, if you didn't watch it, you just don't really care that it happened. It was, was um, it? this was just one afternoon. I remember I was at my neighbor's and we were just watching this for like literally three hours. There was this report of like, I don't know what it was. It was like a weather balloon or something that this family did. Like they were weather scientists or whatever. And they couldn't find their kid. And they thought like, uh oh, like the, it was a big thing. Like not like literal, the weather balloon thing was like big enough where they thought the kid got inside the weather balloon. And then they were like, oh, the weather balloon is flying away. So they thought the kid was in the balloon, just like flying away across the sky. And they were like scared. Like it, it was, was gonna... a documentary. No, this was like a live event. This was like just on the news. Like when though? Oh, like a decade ago, at least. But they mentioned it in this? the office. Yeah. <laughs> why did they think they got? Why did they think the kid got in though again? They couldn't find their kid. Like the kid and was they... the kid was lost that day. And then they realized like, oh, the weather balloon is in the air. Did the kid get inside the weather balloon and is flying away right now through the sky? Why do they have a weather balloon? They, they must have been like, Dave was not listening. He was on his phone. I was on my sorry, phone. Sorry. sorry. Annual sandcastle contest. We can what go on a tangent it? on that. I've seen big sandcastles at the beach. Why do they have the weather balloon? I think they were just, you know, like weather scientists or something. I and they were live that. streaming this? No, dude. This was before live streaming. It was just new. It was news. They reported their kid missing and were like, he might be in the weather balloon. So the news stations picked it up like almost immediately. How? And they, and they for definitely like, called the cops and like, oh, she probably might be in the weather balloon. Yeah, it was crazy because the weather balloon was like super high up in the sky. And if that thing popped and fell, like the kid's dead. And for like hours, hours straight, that this was just on the news like the whole time. Everybody's watching this. And then I, I like it. I don't know what happened. It kind of just like went fizzled out a little and they're like oh yeah actually we found uh oh oh sorry patrick they they found the kid in their house he was like up in an attic crawl space or something so definitely kid, like on x v x videos or something oh my god he was probably a little like, young for that you, mom i'm just trying to up here the kid was probably like uh. under 10 but I, I can't remember if it was again this is like pre like like internet being big enough to conspiracize with everybody they might have planned it you know what is this i don't about? know dude like they might have just been like they knew where the kid was well, what was the significance to like raise awareness no what do you mean to nothing it was just an event but why would they like why would they care to like publicize this i don't understand it was just a news event dude like any other kind oh, of oh like like dude i mean i would find not gonna say no to that, but like, if that's the extent you have to go through to get like, if it's Ooh. just like a cable news, why would what they does care? This do? Freezes it probably. Oh, it actually does. That didn't really work the last time we tested that. It was just any like you you turn on your TV and you get any news it. event and it that was I what it was it. that day and it just was like so weird and unique that everybody Who, was Michael watching. Michael mentions it. it mentions it in the office. No, Jim does. I forget what the context was. <laughs> I, I feel like I, that sounds familiar. I still have not watched, finished the series. I've literally, once Michael left, You've which was it. like, can I get by here? Maybe six weeks ago when I've been watching it, I've just failed to progress. You'll get, you'll get there. No, I've just like, I've been so disinterested with Adam in the show. <laughs> yeah, but you'll just finish it eventually, just to finish it. Yeah, I say that. I want to hit I these cameras. I watched an episode in like five back. weeks. Boom. I really don't know what I'm doing, by the way. I guess this is the correct way to go. Boom, dude. Balloon boy. A classic. That's much better. Ouch. Oh, he 